Well, this is another another episode of the show. Uh, I think this is the twentieth episode now, yeah. and we're we just you know straight out of straight out the hood liquor store. We got Molson Ice. Right. <laughs> we're going to do it. I did a little research on um, Molson Ice, you mm-hmm. know, and it's uh, five point six alcohol contents. Mm-hmm. And I found out that the con- reason I used to like Molson Ice. Mm. That contents of the alcohol is up there with Magnum and uh, another local uh, favorite. The, the malt liquors, uh, different malt liquors like Magnum and most of the other one. Uh, King Cobra? King well, they Cobra? got too many of them, but you know. King what Cobra, Colt 45? They all, they all 5.6 and above, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And that's when I found out about most. I said, oh, okay. I must have liked the cost of the alcoholic contest. But I used to buy it all the time, you know. No, yeah. Now I found out about it, you know. And then I was on the um, TV, and I was doing, you know, on, I was on the computer doing a little research, and I was seeing, you know, like Dearborn got the little uh, craft beer place there. Yeah, the one, we went to that one time. Yeah, the time we went there, so I was looking at that, and they got certain, like, uh, uh, different types of, uh, I can't, they got glasses. And something else, you know, they sell, you know, and you like if you want a beer or something, uh, you buy the glass and then a certain day they have a discount on the drinking, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I was just learning about, you know, I started reading up on um, Anheuser-Busch, uh, how they became, you know, Budweiser became anheuser Two families merged together, you know. Oh, yeah. Bush, Anaheiser, and Bush merged, got married, and that's where you got Budweiser, you know. I said, oh, okay. Okay, so that's, that's the, interesting. That, at least that was on the, uh, on the, uh, internet. Internet, yeah. yeah. On the internet. Well, let's, let's crack these things right, up. Let's see what we got here then. Okay. Well, what's, before you, as is commonplace, what do you think is going to be, what's your ranking of Molson Ice? Nice. Oh, I already ranked that, you know. What do you think it is, before you before you drink it, what is the ranking? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, uh, I gave Molson Ice six a long time ago. A long time ago? Yeah, so if, right. it's, if it's just the same, you got the same six mm. <laughs> plus. <laughs> But I haven't been drinking, no. I used to drink most of my ice quite frequently back in the <laughs> day, you know. But now, it might be like that um, other beer you got in there. <laughs> only, only, that's why I got the separates there. Yeah, yeah. There won't be no, <laughs> none of that. Yeah. It's going to accumulate yeah. on us. Right? Well, let's try it. Let's okay, know. let's try it. Sure. Yeah, but, it tastes like bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I said it tastes like bad decisions. You don't like the taste of it? No, I didn't. I, didn't. I just like the, the it's reminiscent of a lot of uh, stupid college th- oh, <laughs> things. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> I gotta say, I got a good nice taste, man. I used to drink it. I used to go up here to uh, up on uh, Van Born and get my uh, Molson Ice. I'd be coming back from. Uh, when I used to work part time for Avis, you know, just mm-hmm. moving their cars, and I had to have a stop it in there and uh, get me a Molson ice and after a long day's work, Molson ice. Yeah, I get you a Molson ice. Then the uh, lady, uh, the senior, yeah, you know, it it lady, it does take. She, t- she it, always. I walk in the store and she'd have me a Molson ice ready. You know, so that's what happens when you you get a rep, you know, from coming in there. So. She'd be expected me. She had me a Molson Ice. Yeah, Molson Ice definitely tells it. it t- Molson Ice, to me, tastes like how cigarette water smells. <laughs> you got me on that. Cigarette water smell. I didn't know cigarette water had a smell. Though. Well, you've you never seen people who, like, they have cups of water someplace and yeah. there'll be a bunch of cigarettes. And they put cigarettes in the water. Yeah, like, it, it just, to me, it tastes like how that smells. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, it has, like, a. It's like a chemically taste. I mean, it's, uh, okay. it is what it is. It's alcohol. It's beer. It's yeah. it's it's a uh, Jesus. What is it called? What type of beer is this again? It's, it's ice. No, no, no. It's a. Uh, it's a lager. It doesn't say lager. At. It doesn't. It's, well, I forgot what I just. It, does, it just says it says premium. It says premium ice beer. Yeah. What is premium ice beer? Well, ice is. Um, I guess they have it. Because it's cold. 
Ice is ice brewed. No, no it's ice brewed. That means I think the alcoholic contents is up there with the uh, uh, malt liquor. That's what I'm malt, thinking. It's up with oh. the malt liquors. Yeah, that's what that's what I mean. Like it's yeah. <laughs> it's malt liquor. It is what it is. Yeah, but it's not. It's it's not a malt liquor, but it it drives along that range. When you get up to five point uh, six or something and above. But we have drank we drank beer above that. And it wasn't malt liquor. Body, are you sure? That can, that Michigan State can beer, that's yeah. more than five. That's what? I think that's like, let me open. Let me, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah try, I mean, get the can out. Let's look at it. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm absolutely certain. So. You sure it wasn't a malt liquor then? No, it's not a malt liquor. This is 7.2. And it's not a malt liquor? No, it's just it's an IPA. I think, well, I think our definitions need to be yeah, <laughs> reviewed so. a little bit. <laughs> I thought when you got up there, up there uh, about five point six, you'd be uh, malt liquor instead of beer. You know. Oh, I don't think that's automatic. Oh, okay. Well, see, I'm learning. Yeah, I think yeah. I, I think malt liquor is. is, is a, I don't know, man. I I I I this this is a. It's definitely a beer you see at sporting events. You know, it's it's, mm. it's like a cheap, low tier beer in terms of price and everything. With this here, yeah, most nice. How much? How much did it cost? It goes. It's always been more than um. That's like two, three you, bucks. You can get you can get the Bud Light and uh, much cheaper. You can get um. Uh, Budweiser's cheaper. No, this is not. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, you know, it's not it's terrible. Bad. I mean, I I could I could be outside in the cold and just drinking this and mm -hmm. wondering what I've been doing with my life. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's you know, it'll get you, they'll get you there, get you where you need to go. Yeah, cause you know, like um, if you buy a can of um, uh, Pass Blue Ribbon, you probably need a dollar. Uh, if you're drinking Pass Blue Ribbon, the only reason you're drinking that is to just to be inebriated. It's not for the taste. <laughs> no, you're not. No, I don't know uh, Pass Blue Ribbon. No, I mean, I'll, it's Pass Blue Ribbon. <laughs> just for the, not for the taste. No, you're just trying to get destroyed. You're trying to get. You're trying to get. You're trying to get. I shouldn't say drunk, but well, you try you try to get sauced without you know oh, okay. spending a whole lot of money. Well, give me your what you call them on there. This molten ice. Molten ice. It's uh, it's beer. I you mean, know, that's what the rating. What I want to know. I mean, it's not. It's like a four. Four. It's not. It's 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 four. It's just molten ice. I only started out with a six. Because you like this type of beer. I mean, it's it, it is <laughs> okay. what it is. Okay. Molten ice is what it is. It's not an above. It's not an average beer. It's not great. But you know, for if you're looking at it for what it is, like, hey, I want to, I want to spend as little money as possible, but I don't want to buy Budweiser. You know what I mean? Like, it's a, uh, you know, it's a different type of can. Well, anyway, this is a uh, I'm cool with that. This is a little bit more expensive than Budweiser. Right yeah, but I understand that. How much is like two bucks? Two bucks a can? Oh, somewhere along there. Maybe not ten. Depends though where you buy that. One yeah. time a guy was he was charging me two and a quarter. I said, Man, they was talking about that was an expensive beer, you know. Said, Look, I'd be drinking the beer all day. You went from a dollar seventy nine to two and a quarter. And so I Where was this at? At one of the stores, you know. And so I said, I'll put it back in the feed. He said, No, leave it on the counter. So I left it on the counter and walked out. I said, because 'Cause I'm driving, you know. It's highway the robbery. Store, why, I can go across the street. Why well, I got to pay 25, 35 cents more for a beer, you know. I think that's more like 50 cents more, right? You yeah. said two and a quarter, and we went from $1.79. Yeah. That's almost 50 cents increase. That's, that's, a, right. that's a 40, Jesus, I'm, 46 cent increase? Is that what it is? Yeah, so I just said, well, hey, you know, I'm not, not that that. That made that different, but the idea across the street, this guy selling it for one price, you know, mm -hmm. which is reasonable, and you don't kicked it up that much, you know. It's unreasonable. Yeah. So, but anyway, that's that's where it ended. I left, I left, went across the street and got me a beer, you know. Not that it was the difference. Uh, it was the principle of the matter. Yeah, the principle of the matter, right? You know, you cost keeping this guy, and you want to, uh, you ain't got no price up there for what different stuff is, you know. Mm -hmm. And he just said, off the tip of his mouth, you know. Two and a quarter. It's highway robbery. That's highway robbery. I, I would leave too. It wouldn't it doesn't matter that I have money. I'm well, not gonna spend right. my money that's with you. Right. Not with now, not over most and ice. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I've been to places did we go to did we go to uh, 
Green Dot Stables, where you could do the beer and alcohol is real cheap. Where? Green Dot Stables. It's, in, it's downtown. It's a place where you get sliders and beer and alcohol. It's like really cheap, but it's good. I ain't, you said, did we go? Yeah. I don't know. No. We went to that brewery down there. All right, you know what? We're going we we're, to we're, we're gonna go to Green Dot one day. Where is it located? It's not far from where the other place was. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah this, this is it. I don't, I'm surprised I have not taken you. I am actually very surprised about that. Yeah, Green Dot. That's the name of it. Green yeah, Dot. Green Dot Stables. Green Dot Stables. You can do horse gambling there. Like You can bet on horse races. Oh, okay. Legally, for some reason. They have an app, I think. Oh, okay. I never did it. That someone just told me that they always have horse racing playing all the time. Yeah. So I assume. Yeah. Have you have you seen the new? Uh, <clears throat> uh, Excuse me, that's a good bird. Hmm. Have you seen the new raffle machines now? Raffle. You know, like you want to play uh, the Michigan lottery. No, no, I no, I haven't played the lottery in a long time. Man, I I play it mostly just for. I don't know. I figure I don't play so many years. I figure one day. My ship won't come in. You yeah, know, so you, you know, you never give up. Eight or ten dollars here, but they kind of getting to me because over the years I ain't got none of it back. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, now I, I remember the first lot when I turned eighteen. The first thing I bought was a lottery ticket for yeah. uh, I think two fifty, and uh -huh. I won five dollars, oh, and, really? and I was on top of the world. And I'm just oh, like, man. oh man, this is great. This is it. Eh? Yeah, man. Then they came, then you play it again. They got the. <laughs> yeah, they got that five dollars back. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the same. I, well, I went too far. I yeah. reached. <laughs> but now you don't need no money on the machines. Hmm. They they take your credit card. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, this is really for, getting no, outrageous, huh? For a while, you couldn't bet with credit cards. I now, know. now they take it. Yeah, but the machine got it now. You just stick instead of you got no money. Just put your credit card in the machine. Yeah, I'd rather just go to the casino if I'm going to gamble. I'm, yeah, I mean, it's uh, I want I want some. I want a human to take my money yeah, from that's me. That's outrageous! It's getting now where you don't even need no money. You just take your credit card, and stick it. You can go broke, man, and never even need a uh, grocery store. No. <laughs> oh, uh, wow. I mean, there's there's something to that. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we should go to the casino one day too, Grandpa. Ah, uh, well, you know, hey. Uh, I'm not much of a gambler. Yeah, I'm going to watch you. Grandpa, you, you bet the you you bet tickets. That's gambling. Yeah, right. Well, I'm. I said not much of a gambler. I didn't say I didn't gamble. <laughs> <laughs> I go through Vegas all the time, man. And I don't think I played this. You know, the minute you land in Vegas, yeah, they got the slot, slot machines. machines you know, yeah. I, and I there was me and Ronnie one time. Um, nephew of Ronnie, you know. Yeah. We was there in Vegas that year. Dory got married. And uh, everybody was gambling, you know, and, and he and him was sitting at the bar drinking beer, you know. So he, he I like to it. play the tables. Like, I like playing blackjack and stuff. Oh, you do? Yeah, like, normally I go to Vegas, I'll take out 20 bucks, bet on, like, my, my mindset is this, this 20 bucks is going to play for my whole trip. And it has, on a few occasions, it has, it has happened. It has? Yeah, like, I'll take 20 bucks out each day, I'll go to the tables, and I'll look for tables that have a decent amount of people on it, because I'm like, it's not... In my mind, I'm not beating the dealer. I'm just beating the people around me. Oh, yeah. Because the dealer just wants to beat some people, right? Yeah. And as long as I, you know, have the right cards. Like, it's like, you know, there's, there's math. Yeah, mathematically, there's ways to play blackjack where you can increase your odds of success. Mm -hmm. So I always look for tables with multiple people. And I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to play the odds. Like, I'm not counting cards. I'm not like Rain Man in it or anything. But I have, I have a pretty good system. Like, I would take 20, like, with my friends, friends' engagements. Yeah, okay, so what's the uh, bachelor weekends? We went to Vegas. Took out twenty dollars. First day, I won like hundred sixty bucks off that twenty bucks. Oh yeah. That paid for that day. The next day, I got twenty bucks. I won two hundred eighty bucks oh, at blackjack. Like I'm just sitting there, and like, and I, I'm not trying to get rich off of it. I'm just trying to get enough where I feel like this could pay for yeah. what I'm doing that day. Okay. Yeah. This sounds pretty good. You gotta set hard limits for yourself. Yeah. Or else to do what I did with the, the lottery ticket. Like, I won five bucks, I'll bet the whole five bucks. Well, and they got that money right back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was out. Uh, looked at both some ice up on the uh, internet, you know. And they were saying that it, most of the ice beer didn't come out until about 1989. You know, I didn't know that. You That's know. the year I was born. 89. Yeah. Yeah, you was. Yeah, you was. Yeah. Yeah. 
But anyway, that's when ice beer came out. I was thinking about 99, but it was 89 that, that the first ice beer hit the market, you know. And they went on, you know, some, I mean, they got two or three uh, videos two. on it, you know, yeah. on the uh, ice beer, you know. Very interesting. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. All right, well, what are, what are we doing next week? Uh, what type, what type of beer are we going to go after? I'll tell you what, I was surprised. I'll go find something that uh, you'll like. Oh, wow. Say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm thinking your taste, you know. Mm. So I'm thinking, I know about what you, you don't, you scrape this a four. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's it's just beer. To me, this is like, this is, <laughs> this is stuff, like, if you don't want to spend, like, say this, say you're having... Uh, an event where you're watching a sporting event, right? Mm-hmm. And you, you you don't want to spend a whole lot of money because you're spending money on food for the guest stuff too. So you know what? You buy a bunch of cheap beer. This is what that is. This is for like you know. This is the uh, premium. What's called kind of beer? What do you call it? The uh... this is not premium beer. Yeah. What what's premium beer? Uh, well, I, I yeah, guess we... whatever you're willing to pay for it. But I'm I'm just saying yeah. this is this is the this is the the common man's and nothing wrong with that. Uh, beer like this is just it's not you know you, you get you had a hard day working at the construction site or you know at the mm-hmm. office or whatever you get a molson's you're chilling out yeah yeah you're not spending a whole lot of money to get faded that's both that's about it back to all local beer you know let's yeah. going looking for something like like my son poof i he, like he, he into that seven dollars a bottle and i ain't never got to that no. In fact, he has some $7, $15, $30 a bottle. Yeah, and yeah. he wants to claim to me the aging, you know. And I can't see it don't make no difference. You can't age no beer for no $30 a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Uh, what's the thing? Oh, what, what's that beer that I like that, that I keep calling? They, they, it's like every. Uh, hopefully it'll be this year too. They come out with the... They call it the champagne of beer. And they have it in... Champagne bottles during the holidays. What is it called? Champagne, not champagne. No, we could, we could. There, I actually saw champagne at the look, uh, look near my house. Miller's High Life. Miller's High Life. Champagne now, I, 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 I like Miller's High Life because because the marketing campaign. I love marketing campaigns. If you can make something interesting, I'll buy your product for the most part. Oh, okay. Like the champagne of beer, but we did we did the episode. That used to be a Miller High Life. The champagne of beer. I used to back in the day. That was a premium beer. It still is a premium beer. It's a champagne of beer. Yeah, I mean, not no more. It's just, no, it's a champagne it's of beer. beer. No, Grandpa. They, no, last no, year, no. last year at Thanksgiving, oh, we were, we were, in, we were. In, last yeah. year at Thanksgiving, me and Ashley were in Delaware, and um, with her, with her family. Well, it's, I guess my family too is married into it. Um, oh, we married each other, so we're merged. And uh, we find it was commercial and Miller High Life. Had these champagne bottles full of Miller High Life, and you could buy them. Yeah, that's in that area. No, that's, that's everywhere. It was everywhere. Uh, here's just a local beer. I I guarantee if they if I see the commercial again for the champagne bottles of beers, I'm buying a whole bunch of that beer. Oh yeah. And I'll bring you a champagne bottle of Miller High Life. <coughs> it's pretty serious. Oh, I know. I see champ- well, Miller High Life. It used to be like Path Blue Ribbon. That was a premium beer. Miller High Life is better, no than pa- is, Paps, is better than Paps. It's better than Paps. Paps River, Black Label, all of them at one particular time. You know, it was all premium beer. Then all of a sudden, they came down with, with just a local beer. You know, they lost that pretty. If you went to a bar and you asked for um, a Miller High Life, you paid, you know, paid for it back in the day. But now you go there, that's just another local beer. They don't know what they have. Miller High Life is good beer. Mm. I like Miller High Life. Mainly because it's it's called High Life and the marketing makes me feel like it's pretty oh, classy. Yeah. That explains it. Man. Miller High Life is good. I, I like I like <laughs> Miller High Life. <laughs> the marketing. <laughs> hey, you're making fun of me, but uh, you, you're over here talking about molten ice like it's like yeah. God's gift to man. <laughs> It says here, <laughs> uh, brewed for a smooth, full body taste. I believe that. See, that's like the marketing. Does it taste full body? That just like yeah. That just like your marketing. You believe in that middle high life, and I say that's crap. It's the champagne of beer. <laughs> okay. 
We'll leave it at that. Champagne <laughs> and beer. <laughs> you like oh. Miller High Life. It's on the it's on the ranking video. Okay. No, nah, I'm gonna pull it up. You know, everybody, this is the end of this episode. I gotta show Grandpa the errors ways. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>